the fourth game here and seeing how you guys have run the football and everything. Are y'all established? Have y'all established an identity at this point? You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think it would be a surprise to anybody that uh, you know we're probably going to be a run-first oriented team. Um, you know, play action, uh, throw when we need to throw. Uh, you know, so I would, I would definitely say that's probably going to be our identity. You know, we got stable running backs. And uh, that really benefits us, and it really helps Todd in the long run too. In your five years, your playing time has been, you know, not exactly abundant. Were you? Did you want to stay in longer against uh, Troy this last week, or did you want to get the freshman out there as well? No, I mean, uh, I was fine with it. You know, you uh, you don't really know how long you're going to play against those games, but when you're up 34 to nothing, uh, you know, I've also been at the other side of that in Bryce and Fatone shoes, and those guys want to play too, and I completely understand. You're quarter way through the regular season. Uh, you had to give yourself, I mean, maybe not a letter grade, but assess your performance. What would you say about it? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, not a big fan of those questions, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, as long as we're winning ball games, um, and I'm putting my my performance is putting our team in the best chance of win games, and we're in the we have a shot at winning the game. Uh, at the end of the game, then I feel like I'm playing good enough. If you know, if I'm turning the ball over, not being able to make throws, then uh, you know, then there needs to be an assessment made. But I feel like no turnover so far, and at the end of every game, we've had a chance to win. So, against South Carolina, it seemed like every now and then you and your receivers sometimes would not be on the same page. Have y'all worked a little bit since then? You know, trying to trying to get a little more on the same page. Yeah, I mean, I think we are. Uh, you know, we got a lot of young guys out there too, and that's what comes. I think we got, uh, you know, Isaiah, a freshman tied in, and now another freshman receiver playing. So, um, you know, you can only practice so much during the week, uh, and you know, hope that those guys understand what you're looking for. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, then you know, you go back to the drawing board and, and keep working. So, um, I think we've gotten better from Clemson to South Carolina and South Carolina to, to last week's game, and. I think uh, we're going to continue to get better. You just got to keep working. Are you surprised at the number of freshmen that have been contributing on this offense so far? Yeah, I think uh, I think Malcolm's injury is taking a little longer than what's been expected. I don't think uh, you know they really had a plan to play Kenneth, you know, but uh, since he has really strong hands and, and really can help us out, uh, and he is going to help us out. He's he really is a really good receiver. Um, but I don't really think it really just came down that they didn't really expect Malcolm to be out this long. Um, and so, you know, when we get those two guys back, you know, we, we should have some, some quite a bit of depth. And so did you get to know Coach Jones uh, when he was in Cincinnati? Um, they offered me when I was coming out of high school at Central Michigan. Uh, so that's him and Coach Bajakin, who's now the offensive coordinator at Tennessee, uh, recruited me my senior year. They had taken the Cincinnati job and had offered me to come play at Cincinnati. Uh, never really talked to Coach Jones that much, but had a pretty good relationship with Coach Jake.